A lot of snow so far this winter is keeping skiers happy, but also brings an added risk of avalanche danger. Those concerns can make it slower getting in and out of the canyons. New specialist Mike Anderson joins us with a look at how Alta's staff is dealing with that and preparing for these storms to come. Mike? Yeah, Denny and Matt, you know, the hardest, possibly the hardest part of that for the folks out here at Alta is uh, when you know it has to close off the main road, sending uh, cars instead up the bypass through uh, Snowbird. But uh, either way, the, the staff here say that they are anticipating some early mornings and uh, long days for ski patrol ahead. On a day like this, it's bluebird, it's ribbon. You won't hear many complaints, especially coming out of our last three years of drought. It's so much better. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, from a recreational perspective, it's awesome. Even for some who were stranded this holiday, it's not a bad place to be. I've been skiing every day. My flight was canceled. I was going to go back home for the holidays, and then Delta was like, that's not going to happen. But it's been good because the storm's been awesome. But getting to this point today and in the fresh powder days to come. They'll start the morning at 4 or 5 in the morning to get the, the lifts open by 9.15 sometimes. Ski Patrol will put in some early and extra hours to get the mountain safe and open, part of the daily balance during the good times of ski season. It's crazy. We have a 98-inch base. We're almost at that 100-inch base, and we have 260 inches so far, and another storm's coming in, and we're not even into the new year. But the piece of that they cannot control is when the main road has to be shut down by UDOT because of avalanche concerns up further. That generally results in gridlock in Alta for two or three hours. Alta General Manager Mike Mon says the closure forces more cars to park on the road, backing things way up at the end of the day, highlighting the need for some sort of a solution, gondola, buses, whatever. Right now it's uh, really a disadvantage to Alta customers particularly when the main line is closed. Though the half a dozen or so skiers I talked with today said they'll gladly face the gridlock for conditions like this. Yep, I hear it. Yep. But uh, in addition to the transportation options we've been hearing a lot about lately, Mon says he'd simply like to just see a lot of those cars parked on the road, get off the road, maybe even uh, room for an expanded parking lot out here in the future. Back to you. All right, and imagine we'll have more crowds even this weekend. Thanks, Mike.